But after you learn this one drill, this one sequence of movements, you'll have no need to ever learn another drill for as long as you play the game. And you'll never have to learn another thing about the swing. If you learn how to do this movement that I'm about to show you, you will have all the tools to ne you need to teach yourself how to swing like a pro, plain and simple. Are you guys ready to see it? Let's do it, here it is. All right, so first, I want you to get up. I want you to do this drill with me. I'm gonna teach it the whole thing to you right now. So get up wherever you are, even if you're on your, in your office, get up and let me show you exactly how simple the swing really can be. So first, can you do this? Just take your setup, you can, you can take your right shoulder and pull it behind your head and increase the pressure you feel on your right foot. That's all I want you to do. Pull your right shoulder behind your head and push your right foot in the ground. Can you do that? That's the entire backswing. And I'm gonna show you the whole sequence in just a moment. But that's how simple the entire backswing is. When you move from the inside out, everything else is gonna fall into place. You only have to learn three moves. That's, one, that's number one. So, pull the right shoulder back, increase the pressure on the right foot. Now, the hardest part of the golf swing that nobody's ever been able to teach effectively, the transition. I'm certain that most of you out there have struggled with a proper transition. The whole reason, as you've learned from my other videos, is the force of movement. Where you're moving from is what's going to cause you the issues. And you talk, you've heard about my pushing versus pulling, so I'm not gonna go into that stuff right now. All I want you to do is one simple move to have a perfect transition. Are you ready? So do the movement again with your whole backswing. There we go, whole backswing is done. It's gonna look perfect in just a minute, even with the club. Now, the transition, here's all I want you to do. I want you to not turn your shoulders at all. Once you've got your chest turned back here, I want you to sit into the left side. As you do that, you're gonna do my squat to square video, right? You're sitting into the left side, moving your weight back over to the left, and your hips are turning, your shoulders are getting turned. You see that? As I combine backswing and transition, We've licked two thirds of the golf swing already. If you can just do those two moves, the rest of your golf swing is gonna be so simple for the rest of your life, you're never gonna do anything different. Backswing, transition. Now, how do we get into the most important part of the golf swing, the only part that really matters, impact. It's even easier than the first two moves. Once you've made a proper backswing and you've made a transition, all I want you to do is take this leg Straighten it up while you push your hip open and move the rest of your weight about 85% onto the left leg without turning your shoulders. Let's do the whole thing together. Right shoulder back, push the right foot in. Transition, post up. If you can do those three moves, you can swing like a pro. It's that simple. Can you do that? Of course you can, it doesn't get any easier than that. I can teach anybody to do this. Turn back, transition, post, whole golf swing. Now you're looking at me, some of you are like, oh my gosh, the whole light bulb just went off. That's the whole thing I gotta do because you're already familiar with all the other videos on the site. Other of you are out there thinking to yourself, what the heck is he talking about? It doesn't look like a golf swing at all to me. Let me make it even easier for you to see the whole thing. And I'm gonna teach you the same sequence of how I teach it in real life, in person. So, once you can do these three core body movements, all you gotta do is get the arms and club to play nicely, and that's super easy. So the first thing, as you can probably imagine, is you've gone through the RST five-step system, what do you think I would add next? The lead arm, of course. So, all I want you to do, do the same drill again, but now, put your left arm out in front of your body don't even think about where it's going. And all I want you to do is focus on pulling the right shoulder behind your head and pushing weight into the right leg. As you do this, your arm is gonna swing up. If you can't quite get the feeling of it just yet, here's an even easier way to do it. I'm gonna turn down the line so you can see this whole sequence again. I'm gonna go right shoulder back, and now just extend your arm up. Can you do this? Well, yeah, of course you can. Just turn back, raise your arm. Now, watch what happens as I combine this with a transition move. No shoulder turn, I'm gonna keep my chest pointing at you, and I'm just gonna squat to square. Look what happened to my hands. Now, some of you are starting to see how the club falls into the slot, which I'm gonna slow show you in a second. And then as I move into impact, all I'm doing, I'm not trying to do anything with my arms or hands or shoulders, I'm just straightening my left leg up, look where my hands are. If I had a club in here, which I'm gonna show you in a second, I'd be in a perfect delivery position, and all I have to do there is release the club. 
Let me show you adding the club into it. What does it look like when we add the club? For those of you who come over the top and lose lag and cast, this is the key. So I'm gonna do it face on first and then I'm gonna show you down the line. I'll go through the whole sequence, doing it, putting my right arm up and then bringing the club up there, or excuse me, my left arm up. So I'm gonna take my right shoulder, pull it behind my head, whole backswing, that's it. Now some of you may notice my head turns a little bit. I broke my neck mountain biking and I'm fused at C1, 2, and 3. So should your head turn like this, like Annika and Duvall? No, that's just because I'm physically stuck together. So ignore that and just focus on turning your rib cage and letting your arm go up to that same position at the top and that's it, the whole backswing's done. And I'm gonna walk you through this whole sequence in detail showing you every single key to get into that perfect position during the boot camp. But for now, you can do this on your own very, very simply by simply focusing on turning your body to get your arm to the top. Now, all I'm gonna do, nothing with the arms, hands, or club. I'm going to squat to square. Look where the club is, look where my lag is, everything here, all systems go. Now all I need to do is post up. If I post up and my left hand is in front of my thigh with the club shaft parallel to the ground, club toed up, golf swing's over. All I have to do from this point is release. And what does it mean to release? It means to let go. Just let the club go from that point. Look at how much my body's moving. It's not moving at all. The point in the swing when the body's under the most load and the most stress is when it needs to be the most stable and protected. So once we get down here and the, load, the forces on the body are about to go up dramatically as the club begins to release and accelerate, now is when I need my joints perfectly aligned, stacked in position so that all I need to do is let the club release and my body chills out. The last thing on earth I'd ever wanna do is keep turning through and driving through when all of the speeds are at their peak during the swing. One of our uh, medical advisors, Dr. Mitch Suppler, talked to me about understanding where bulging discs come from so frequently in the golf swing. And it happens when your spine is in a rotated position and a side bend. The last thing you'd wanna do when your body's in this position is to keep turning your body, keep turning your hips, so that you put yourself in this very uncomfortable side bend position, unless you deliberately want to blow out your back, which of course you don't. So that's why it's so critical to learn the third move of once you're here, you post up, your golf swing's done. You're only making these three moves and those three moves move the arms, which move the club, which controls the ball. It's not the other way around. It's way too complicated. Can you try and position the club back over here and know exactly where it's at when it's moving behind you really fast? No, of course not. But can you do this? Of course you can. And if you can do that, everything in your swing is forced to fall into place. Watch what happens when I add the right arm. So now I'm just gonna go through the sequence again. I'm gonna go back to the top, just extend my left arm up. Don't worry about exactly where it is. I'm gonna show you all the details of that stuff later. Just get it in the ballpark. You'll be way better off than where you are right now. Just turn back. Now I'm gonna hand myself the, left, the club with my right arm. Good position here. Now the club feels kind of heavy. If you're doing this yourself, you should notice, ah, hold it up there, just my left arm, it feels a little funky. I'm glad you noticed that because now is when you bring the right arm up to support the left arm, not putting it in control. That's where everybody goes wrong. You've seen my videos on pushing versus pulling and knowing that casting and swing over the top and all of the bad swing flaws that you have all come from that right side. So what you're going to learn to do is go to the top and bring the right hand up just to support the club. It's not doing anything more than that. Now watch as I add the transition drill. See how the club perfectly falls down into the slot? I didn't try to drop it into the slot. I didn't try to manipulate it or loop it or do anything crazy. I didn't do anything at all. I did nothing, nothing but the first movement, I or the second movement I showed you, the transition drill, squatting to square and sitting to the left side, the club comes down perfectly on plane. Now, all I need to do from here is post up. As I add the post up move, look where the club is. Backswing, transition, post up, release. The whole swing in one drill. All you have to learn is how to do those exact three movements I just showed you, do them perfectly, and your swing will look as good as anybody's on the planet and perform as well as a pro. All you have to do is those three simple moves. Now, as you go through the boot camp, I'm gonna start giving you the sequence and all the little checkpoints on how to do this the quickest that I've found so far. 
it's going to make it really, really easy to put this whole thing into the context of the swing. So when you go out and play, let's say you go out and you hit a bad shot, no problem. How do you get your swing back on track? Perfect swing. That's it. In the middle of a round, you hit a bad shot, you did something different than what I just showed you in those three simple moves. You fired with your right arm, you turned with your shoulders, you pushed off the right leg. All of those things that you've seen on the videos on the site are gonna start to come to life to now because now you can fix everything with one simple drill. And as you keep working on this drill and you get it refined so that you can do it without having to think about it at a conscious level, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna be able to do it without those little pauses and chunks. Instead of going to the top and checking your checkpoints that I'm gonna give you in the boot camp, oh, I gotta check my right hip line and my necktie drill, did I maintain my axis tilt, all that stuff that has to be dialed in, all you're gonna be able to do now is go to the top and make these chunks smaller and smaller. So now I'm starting to make it one smooth movement. Would you be all right if you had a swing like this? Pretty easy, right? All I did was those three moves to swing like that. Pretty simple, right? Anybody can do this. Now, I know many of you were thinking I was gonna go all golf infomercial on you and say, hey, to learn my big secret drill that will teach you how to swing like a pro, go to blah, blah.com and buy my blah, blah, blah. And if you act now, I'll throw in this other useless piece of crap totally free. Come on, man, you guys know me better than that. This stuff is simply too good to hoard to myself. I'm sharing it with everyone for free because everyone should benefit from it. So instead, I made the code for this perfect swing, the simplest, safest golf swing. I made the code open source. I wish I had had such a simple way to learn the golf swing when I first started playing 30 years ago. It would have saved me so much grief, so much wear and tear on my body, so many balls hit to right field, and so much frustration on the course that when I finally put all these pieces together, I knew the only right thing to do was to share it with the entire golf world completely for free. So take that, YouTube haters. <laughs> now you're gonna feel so guilty every time you use my drill and after every great shot you hit as a result of it, now I'm gonna be in your head forever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Seriously, I totally get it. The golf industry has always revolved around some mystical guru that supposedly has some great secret golf tip that's gonna, they're, they're trying to sell you. Well, I've got another secret for you and I'll share this one for free too. There are no secrets to the golf swing. You've heard me say it time and time again, and now you know just how much I truly believe it. The golf swing is simple. Well, at least it is now. Now you only have one drill to perfect for the rest of your life, and since you'll master that in no time, you'll now have time to work on your hideous chipping. Now, I know some of you are gonna say that I'm going back on what I said about you know, how many reps it takes to master a movement. You know from my videos that on learning that I've done, it takes between three and 5,000 repetitions to master any new movement pattern. It doesn't matter if you're learning how to play the piano or how to shoot a basketball, it's three to 5,000 perfect repetitions of each and every movement. And as cool as my boot camp program is, and as simple as this one drill is, even I can't change how fast the human brain learns. But what I can do is take that brain from having to try and learn and decipher through dozens of different drills 3,000 times each and make it only have to learn one drill 3,000 times, which you can easily do in a month. And you can totally go out and do this completely on your own. And I truly, truly hope you do. I hope this helps you play pain-free, effortless, and consistent golf, what my entire life's work has been devoted to, and you enjoy hitting the ball like a rock star for a change. Or you can have me almost literally hold your hand through it as I show you every nuance and every little critical detail like you saw me put into action during the Roadshow videos you love so much. That way you don't waste a single rep, not one wasted movement on your way to 3,000 repetitions. Now listen, the drill is so simple that if you just do exactly what I just showed you a moment ago, your golf swing frustrations will be over forever. So you'll get there on your own with or without me. I mean, how simple is this movement? I'm just here to help speed up the process by keeping you from slipping into any little pitfalls along the way that just waste precious time and energy. So with my help or without your awesome, simple new golf swing, it's my gift to you. But if you wanna know exactly how to do this drill perfectly three weeks from now, so you're beginning to transform your swing into a ball striking badass, then join my boot camp and you'll hear everything right from the horse's mouth. And for those of you who are wondering about all those videos on the site, all the exact same information that I just showed you in this drill is already on there. In fact, 
Here's a look at all the videos I grouped together just to perform the one backswing movement, movement that you're going to learn for the entire swing. You have the right hip line, you have the necktie drill, the shoulder plane drill, all your favorites. The information is already there. My only hope is that I've now made it easier to understand how to put all of these drills together into one sequenced movement. All that information, all those videos, you just have to glue them together in the way that I just showed you. So hopefully this helps you get much more value out of your membership and all the videos you already know. And as you can imagine, I'll be launching a completely new series of videos that are focused exclusively on combining everything on the site into this much simpler series of videos that are structured around learning how to do this perfect one drill. And yes, that's when my prices are gonna jump up. Learning the swing like this is gonna be so simple that I may just put myself out of business. But if my efforts to simplify learning the golf swing help refocus the golf industry's energy and efforts into teaching golfers a simple, safe, and effective golf swing, rather than trying to sell you another gimmicky training aid or band-aid fix for your swing to make a buck, then so be it. Now, while I hope you enjoyed me sharing all this information with you for free, I can't be quite so generous with my time. If you want my help to walk you through mastering the last drill you'll ever do step-by-step, step, I'll explain how you can be a part of my boot camp in the next video that I'm going to send to you Saturday morning. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the hell out of my little manifesto and that my life's work helps make you the golfer you always dreamed you could be for free.